what's going on all you beautiful builders welcome back to the channel i hope you're all doing great and it's nice to have you so uh we've got box number 13 today as you can tell by the description of the fan home build your own michael bay movie optimus prime i'm really anxious to continue on building this one this is stages 47 through 50 uh here in the u.s i know in um in Europe, you guys are now uh, further ahead because you're getting more stages. But anyways, all having a lot of fun. Hope everybody's enjoying this build. But without any further delay, let's go ahead and get up top and get this thing open. All right, here we go. We are up top now. Let's go ahead and crack this open. Again, I already cut it. I've got like four fan home packs in right now of different, different builds. So I have to open them up to see exactly which one is which. So... Let's go ahead and see what we got inside here. All right, looks like we've got our parts here. Again, like I said, it's 47 through 50. Looks like we're gonna be working more on the um, the chest area with the windshield piece there. And uh, here are our magazines. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of that box. All right, that's good. Move this stuff to the side. All right, guys, and like I said, here we are with 47 through 50. So let's go ahead and get started on stage 47. All right, here's the magazine for 47. Let's get a quick look through it real quick. Just a fast peruse. All the way to the back here until we get to our parts here we are all right we're continuing to work on that right shoulder we had already started it before and uh, these are the pieces for it uh, this gets kind of difficult uh, when it comes to attaching it uh, we'll see here in a minute uh, but this is what we're doing uh, today and we'll end up with this right here and again this is the right shoulder this is this part right here that we're doing we already did this one if you want to check that out go back and look at my other videos uh, but we are working on this one, which would just be the opposite and the same thing as this one. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, we're bringing out that right shoulder that we've been working on. Let's go ahead and sit that here. Okay, we're going to be starting with uh, 47D. That's this piece right here. And 47A, that's this piece right here. All right, and holding it this way around, we're going to take this one this direction it's got a little notch here on the front and back that's going to fit into these two notches here like that and this is going to slide down till it stops okay it's going to look just like that all right now we got 47 f that's this uh piece here it's got the lines on one side there the raised lines and the other side is just flat and we're going to drop that inside there where those lines are going to fit the little recess spots inside and we're just going to drop it in just like that okay now we got 47 e and that's going to go on here and it's going to go on with these two tabs the big tabs that are sticking down into these longer slots uh, but we're going to glue this on so we're going to get a little bit of our ca glue or super glue or whatever you want to call it and we're going to put it on here to glue that on i think i'll just brush it on all right, and then we're just going to put a little glue right on the rim here. I'm just going to put it right and just a drop, a little dab here and there. Just like that. And then we're going to put this on and push it down. And we're going to let that set on there and, and uh, harden. All right, now we're going to get our shoulder out here that we uh, were working on before. And holding in this direction, we're going to take 47G, which is this spring here. And this spring is going to go over uh, this metal piece here in the middle it's going to go over that just like that all right now we're going to take our assembly that we were just working on here uh, it's only going to fit one way to the shape so just turn it until it slots over it okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to take a pm screw and the, one of the lock washers that come with it and we're going to screw this in right in the hole right there all right again this is one of those stages that would you know really help to have three hands I'm gonna put this on my screwdriver and get it ready. And then when I push this down, I'm gonna hold it, kind of turn it over 
so that the washer doesn't come off. And then I can put my screw in there and screw it in just like that. Okay. All right, guys, I thought I was missing my SP screws. I was supposed to have uh, SP screws in here and I couldn't find them. So I pulled this part off that I cut off and tucked up inside is my SP screws. So be careful of that, I guess. All right, so now we got that SP screw in the uh, 47B. That's this piece here. And we're gonna be attaching this on. Uh, this is gonna go onto this hole right here. Now it's got, uh, it's kind of keyed, so it really only goes one way. There's a little thing that sticks out there that matches uh, the keying on the hole. So you want to just put it over that until you got it in the right spot like that. And then we're going to screw that down with that SP screw. There you go, just like that. Right, now we got 47C, that's this blue piece here, and we're going to be gluing that one on. Okay, and it's gonna go this direction onto these two pins. There's uh, two holes on the bottom here, uh, like rectangle holes. That's gonna go over these two rectangle pins, and just like that, and we're just gonna glue those on. So and I'm just gonna add a little glue to the ends of each of these, like that. And we're just gonna put this on, line them up, push it on, just like that, all right. We'll set that to the side to dry. But it's going to look just like this when we're all done. All right, guys, that's the end of stage 47. We're going to go ahead and move on to stage 48. All right, here's stage 48. Let's go ahead and get a quick look through that. More, and more of the toys, the cartoons, comics, all that stuff in here. All right, here we are on our parts here, still working on that right shoulder. Uh, this is what we're gonna be putting on. We'll indeed be attaching it to the uh, upper torso, and that is an absolute pain in the butt, but we're gonna do it. And when we get all done, we're gonna be left with this for now. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, got our shoulder back out here. And we're going to be putting on 48A, that's this piece right here. Uh, this is the underarm joint. Yeah, it's going to be going this way uh, around, and we got uh, these two holes here are going to be lining up on these, or these three, I guess, are going to be lining up on these three holes right here, just like that. All right, and we're going to secure those down with three BM screws. We had to put a little oil on that. That first one went was a little tough getting in, so I'm gonna put a little drop of oil in these. And see how those go in. All right, guys, then we're gonna take this pin and we're gonna push it into the hole right there. Yeah, just like that. All right, let's go ahead and move on. All right, guys, I got a bunch of different tools here now, so. Let's see what we can do. This is a, uh, I believe it is a 732nd. This is a 5.5 millimeter socket, which is actually the exact size for that. Some needle nose pliers. Let's see what we can do here. First thing we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be attaching 48A, that's this piece here. It's gonna be attaching onto this, uh, in this direction like this, all right? But we gotta put 48C inside here. 48C is gonna be going with the little ridges facing outwards. I don't know if you can see them there. There they are. Those little ridges are gonna face outwards and it's gonna fit right into this little indention here. If you're having trouble with this, you can put just a little drop of glue in there uh, to hold it in if you want. But let's see if I can do it without putting any glue in this one. There we go. All right, this is gonna go over it this direction, the flat piece facing up. And we're just gonna slide it over that, uh, just like that until we have a clear shot all the way through. You can see the blue through it, okay? All right, now we're gonna take 48H, which is this bolt here. There's two of them, they're the same, but one's uh, a little longer than the other one. You want the shorter one, okay? And that's gonna go through this hole on this side, and we're gonna push that through like that. Now we're gonna take one of the lock nuts that come with it, that is 48I, 
And we're just going to get that started on here. Like that. Okay. And then it's going to get real tight because it's got the uh, nylon inside of it. I'm going to put my wrench on this side. And I'm going to use my socket on here, I think. And we're going to tighten that down. Get it snug. It's gonna be just like that. All right, now we got this joint that we're gonna be attaching to the um, to the torso. But first, we have to put two more of those friction discs. One goes on each side, here and here, and you can glue those in. So we're gonna go ahead and put a little drop of glue on these uh, to glue them in. Uh, just to hold them and you want to glue the flat side down again. This has the little ridges on one side You want those facing outwards. You want the flat side facing in Just a little bit and I'm going to use some tweezers to grab this and put it in And set that in there with the tweezers and push it down I'm just going to kind of wipe any excess and push it in Wipe any glue that might come out. And I'm going to turn it over and do the same thing on the other side All right, just like that. Now, last time I did that without putting any glue on it, it's pretty tricky, but you can do it. Uh, but uh, might as well just use the glue. All right, now we have our torso uh, with the uh, left shoulder already attached, and we're going to be putting the right shoulder on here. Okay, and this piece, of course, goes up, and that's going to slide right over that. Okay, now we want to put uh, 48. G, that's the other bolt. And then we have the one of the lock washers and the regular washer. That is 48J and 48K. Yeah, we're gonna put the lock washer on the screw first, like that. And then the regular flat washer is gonna go on, just like that. And we need to run that down through the shoulder that we just put on. See if we can get it in there. All right, kind of work it a little bit, see if it'll slide through there, but I doubt it. The problem is getting it past that nut in there. It's not easy to do. See if we can use the pliers. Yeah, smaller ones. You think it would just slide through there because it does tighten down on the other side with a nut, but it doesn't. You have to like screw it through. All right. You just gotta keep working at it and get that screwed all the way in. Uh, I'm going to do that and I'll be back uh, when I get it all the way in there. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put the nut on the bottom now and see if I can just tighten it on down. Because this one seems to be going through a lot easier than the other, than the other one did. Got that snug down. Now we're going to go ahead and tighten down the nut on it. I'm just going to hold that in place. Tighten the nut down. As this guy, this one went in a lot easier than the other side. The other side was really tough to get in. This side went in much smoother. I will say that they give you a wrench earlier on. Uh, don't lose that wrench because it'll help with this a lot, but it worked out okay with the needle nose. Uh, but it'll look like that when it's done. I'm gonna bring the shoulder back down. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna set that to the side here for a second. And we're gonna go ahead and put these uh, these little shoulder connectors together. We're gonna make three of these. They go just like this. You're gonna put, you're gonna slide one of the small ones into the big one. Okay, and then we got three of these little connector pins. And they have a rough side and a smooth side. You wanna put the smooth side in first. Now get your pliers. You wanna just take the, uh, the pin and push the smooth side through the hole. Catch it with the pliers, you're gonna push it in. And you want to push it all the way through uh, until it comes all the way, you know, it goes flush. Just like that. And we're going to do that with all three of them. And we'll have all three of them done just like that. Okay, now we're going to start on the front. And this is the front here. And we're going to put two on the front. Uh, one goes here. It's going to click in here. And right here. Okay, just like that. And then one's gonna go beside it here and click on right here. Just like that. And then we're gonna flip it over. And we got one on the back side. And it's gonna go into this hole. 
and onto that peg just like that all right guys it's gonna look like that when they're all on all right and that is the end of issue 48 let's go ahead and move on to issue 49 All right, here goes issue 49. Let's get a look through it real fast. Speed right on through there. Get right on back to our parts here. All right, we're gonna be working more on the torso with the other windshield and stuff. Now, if you're building this, you know this is where we started at. We started on the other windshield and the head. So we're gonna be continuing on now with that uh, other side of the windshield on the uh, torso here and this is our parts we're going to be putting them together just like this and when we get done we're going to have that all right let's get started all right guys we have 49a this beautiful piece right here look at that it's gorgeous look at the shine on that that's nice and the windshield here, this is 49B, and we're going to be putting the windshield inside. It's going to go this way. Windshield is going to sit right in over these two studs here, and we're going to screw that down with two DM screws. Go ahead and get one loaded up here. I'm going to put this on a low speed, and let's see if we can get this in. We don't want to crack it. Tell you what, I'm going to use a regular screwdriver. Again, I don't want to crack the plastic. No, I just want to be real careful here. I'm going to screw that down, and we'll go ahead and get the other one in. If I put, if I put that on high, I, I really have a good chance of cracking that plastic, so I don't want to do that. All right, those are firmly in, and it's going to look just like that. Got the windshield in. There you go. And now we got our uh, lights here, and we've got the blue bulbs that go in them. And we're going to glue these into the end of the lights, uh, just one in each one here. So uh, we're just going to put a little uh, dab of glue and uh, stick the light in. Just like that. I'm going to take a light. Like that right there. And now I'm going to set that aside and do the other two. All right, guys, that's all three of them. Let's go ahead and move on. All right, now we're supposed to just snap these into the top of the cab. We got three of them here. And they should just snap in. If not, we can put a little glue. But now that is a very, very tight fit. But that is it. In there, that ain't going anywhere. Then we get all three of them in. There we go, just like that. Man, that looks nice. Very nice. Okay, last thing on here is uh, to put the windshield wiper on. Okay, windshield wiper is going to go in to this hole here, just like that. And yes, it's supposed to be on the windshield like that. So. And they're nice and firm. If it's loose, you can always, of course, put a dab of glue in there. But uh, pretty nice. All right, guys, that's the end of stage 49. Let's go ahead and move on to stage 50. All right, here we go with stage 50. Let's get right on back to our parts here. Flip through real quick, though. I always get a lot on the toys in here. All right, here we go, guys. Looks like we are putting uh, some lights, doing some light wiring in. And uh, I think we're going to be connecting everything into the torso. Yeah, just like this. And when we get done, we're going to have uh, this piece in and uh, this piece. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, we're going to start by bringing out the cab piece from uh, stage two. Step number five, this is the piece right here. And we're going to be attaching 
a set of lights inside. Here we go. We have, uh, we're going to be using 50A, which is this one. Uh, if the lights are facing you, the wires are going to be kind of to the left side uh, between the first two lights. And that is 50A. And that's going to be going into this, uh, this part of the windshield here of the cab. We're going to be putting that in just like this. So those lights are going to be going through to illuminate. They're going to be illuminating these three blue lights. Uh, it's going to sit in just like this. And then we're going to attach it in uh, with three of the YP screws. So we'll get those YP screws over here, right here. And again, it's going to be going this way. Just like that. And attaching in with those three YP screws. You got to hold those lights from underneath, though, because it'll push the light out. All right, there we go. It's going to look just like that. Okay, now we're going to get the one that we just built in issue 49, and we're going to flip it over, and we're going to do the same thing on this side. All right, and that's all three of those in, just like that. All right, we're going to bring our torso and shoulders back out now, and we're going to bring this piece out from issue two, step two. If y'all can remember that, it's been a while. Okay, now we're gonna attach this to the um, shoulder piece here and we're gonna pull our wires here back out of the way like this. And now these top pins here are gonna go over these two top posts. And then these two here are gonna go over these two posts. So we need to just push that on. Again, keep this pulled back out of the way. And then slide that on till we have those posts together the way they're supposed to be. There we go. Just like that. Now we're going to secure that down on the front with the four AP screws. I'm going to go ahead and get one in right here. There we go. Get all four of them in. All right, just like that. All right, now we have screw caps to go over these uh, screws to hide them. We have uh, the two larger ones here. This is um, this is going to be 50C marked with an L, and it's going to go on the left side. And you just need to drop it down in there. You got two pins with the two holes, and it just needs to line up over these down inside. Let me get that dropped in right. <laughs> here we go, like that. Now I'm just going to use something to push that down in there. I'm going to use the arm of my needle nose, see if I can just push it in. And push it in nice and snug, just like that. And then we're going to do 50D, and it's marked with an R, so you know it goes on the right side, right there. And we're going to do the same thing on this other side, drop it in. Get it lined up right, and try to push that in. Here we go. Okay, just like that. Covers those screws up. And now we got two small ones that go here and here to cover these two screws up. And those are 50E. And it's got like a little cup. I believe the cup side goes in so that it's nice and flat on top. It doesn't say. Go. Just get it put on there and push that in nice and snug, just like that. And then we'll do the one on this side. We'll push that one in nice and snug. All right, it'll look just like that. No more screw heads showing. Nice. Okay, guys, now we're gonna take our right side uh, windshield here. Uh, it goes on the right torso. And we're gonna go ahead and push it on these two studs here are gonna go into these two posts here. So just line them up and then push it on like that. And now we're going to take the cable that's coming out of it. And it's going to be uh, marked with an L. And now it says on here that it's marked with an, a K. And that it'll connect into the same connection that's also got a K on it. But that is the left side. The left side has a K. The right side has an L, at least on mine. So we're going to take the L connector here. As you can see, it's marked with an L, not a K for the right side. 
and I'm going to push it into the connector in here that's marked with an L as well. Make sure you have it in the right direction and line it up and then push it in. I'm going to use some tweezers to get that in. As you can see in there, it's going to go in that far one. And just push it all the way in. All right, again, that's the L into the L side right there. And that middle one is K, and K is the actually the left one. But in my instructions, it says K is the right one. That, guys, is all we have to do in pack 13 of the Michael Bay Build Your Own Optimus Prime. Uh, so let's go ahead and get back to the main camera. We're done. All right, guys, like I said, we're all done with this stage. Here we go. This is what we have so far. Of course, we have the other one that's going to go here. It doesn't say to put it on yet, so we're not going to put it on yet. Uh, but so far, man, this thing is looking pretty amazing. We got our shoulders and everything on. We're getting our windshield pieces on. Uh, this thing is looking awesome all the way around. It's just crazy how detailed this thing is. Uh, I'm, I'm just blown away by it. It's gonna be amazing when it's all done. Now all these wires are all marked with letters that go in here, but it doesn't say where to plug them in yet, or, or to plug them in yet, or even if they plug in here or not. I'm not super sure about that. We have four more spots on this circuit board to plug wires in. Uh, gonna be a little tricky to get to them. Uh, well, probably not too bad as long as you use some tweezers to get a hold of them, put them down in there. But uh, yeah, there it is, guys. So far, awesome. Having a ton of fun with this one. And uh, man, yeah, it's looking really great. Okay, guys, man, I appreciate you guys stopping by again. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up and then walk over there and hit that subscribe button. It helps the channel out immensely. And I'll see you guys next time. I'm Chewy Solo in this is black and red builds. See? Woo! Now that is a whole lot of fun right there. <laughs>